Hello. Good morning, my dears. In the fifth chapter in physics, we are uh, studied about light, right? Okay. And we already discussed about uh, the source of light and uh, the rectilinear propagation of light, the image of an object, and uh, the um, applications of the rectilinear propagation, and also the shadows. Umbra and penumbra. Okay, the next application of the um, uh, rectilinear propagation is eclipse. We know that the Earth revolves around the around the sun, and the moon revolves around the Earth. Right? The Earth revolves around the sun, and the moon revolves around the Earth. During this revolution, sometimes uh, it so happens that the sun, the earth and the moon is come in a straight line. What happens? The earth and sun and the moon is come in a straight line. In this position, the sunlight is obstructed by the moon or earth and a shadow is formed. Are you clear? The sun, earth and moon is comes in a straight line. In that time, the sun is obstructed by the moon or earth and a shadow is formed. The formation of shadow of this type of heavenly bodies on the other is called as eclipse. What is eclipse? The formation of shadow of heavenly body on the other is called eclipse eclipse okay simply we uh, uh, the simple words the shadow cast by the earth and the moon are called the eclipse shadow cast by the earth and the moon are called eclipse okay depending upon the position of the sun the moon and the earth eclipse are mainly classified into two namely solar and lunar eclipse okay what is eclipse uh, eclipse are the formation of the shadow of heavenly bodies on the other is called eclipse or shadow cast by the earth and the moon are called eclipse all of it clear okay next we are discussing about the solar eclipse when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth the solar eclipse takes place okay in this position look at this image the moon uh, comes in between the sun and the earth so the uh, the sunlight is obstructed by this moon and the shadow is fall uh, into the earth so these types of eclipse are known as solar eclipse. Uh, in this position, the moon behaves act as an opaque object. Opaque object means the object um, didn't pass the light through them. And uh, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. The region of the umbra. Umbra experience total solar eclipse. When the region of penumbra experiences partial solar eclipse. So, solar eclipse is observed on a new moon day only. Love it clear? So, when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth are known as solar eclipse. The next one is lunar eclipse. When the earth comes in between the sun and the moon the lunar eclipse takes place look at this image the earth is uh, the middle position okay the earth comes in the uh, in between the sun and moon in the solar eclipse the moon comes in between the sun and earth okay and uh, in this position the earth behaves as an opaque object and the moon acts as a screen in the solar eclipse the Moon act as an opaque object and earth act as a screen. But in lunar uh, 
eclipse it's uh, the uh, earth act as an opaque object and moon as a screen the shadow of the earth falls on the moon and blocks its view as long as the moon remains in umbra region of the shadow of the earth that is total lunar eclipse the moon remains in the umbra region of the shadow it's uh, gives a total lunar eclipse when the moon enters in the penumbra region it is a partial lunar eclipse in um, solar eclipse the region of umbra experience total solar and while the region of penumbra experience partial solar eclipse like the uh, the region of umbra is uh, of the shadow of the earth is total lunar eclipse and the moon enters in the penumbra region is called partial solar eclipse all of you clear this is eclipse the lunar and solar eclipse here there are some questions why do birds kites and aeroplanes fly high in the sky not cast their shadow that's because the source of light that means sun is millions times larger than these objects so the umbra is not formed and the penumbra is too faint clear all of you clear there's another question can we see eclipse with the naked eye uh, we can see a lunar eclipse directly without naked eye but uh, a solar eclipse should never be seen with the naked eye because it makes the retina uh, ret uh, retina burning okay it is harmful for our eyes so we can see only the lunar eclipse directly uh, should never been seen the solar eclipse uh, see the naked eye okay all of you clear next question do other planets and satellites also form eclipse yes all the plans planets and the satellites cast their shadow in the space thus the planets and their satellites also form the eclipse let's watch a video related to the eclipse the solar and lunar eclipse okay